little baby Slip a staple under the tree for me Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time on my channel, hola, como estas? Salut, bonjour, wagua. And most importantly, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope you guys are having a fabulous holidays and I am, I'm getting to relax. <laughs> Eat lots of chocolate, that's legit. All I've been doing. I don't know what it is about like Christmas. Rora Roche and hazelnut flavors for me. I love them. 20 minutes later if, if there's chocolate on my teeth, I apologize But I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas Merry Christmas, enjoy time with your family to Relax and thank God most importantly And be grateful for everything that 2016 has brought for you Because I know personally that 2016 was a pretty awesome year for me And I know 2017 is going to be better But I just wanted to bring you guys this look It's not your traditional classic um, holiday glam and that's why I really really like it I just decided to do something a little different I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next right. video let's get started alright so I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Too Faced shadow insurance to make sure that my eye makeup is gonna last all day and I'm using sandalwood from the Huda Beauty rose gold palette as my transition color so I'm just going to buffer it out and I'm using the next color henna just to deepen it a little bit so again just buffer it out you know it doesn't have to be perfect just literally buffer buffer I'm using a clean brush just to blend out the harsh lines so it's not too harsh next I'm going in with cocoa and I'm going to create the little like on the inner corner and the outer corner leaving the middle part empty because that's where we're going to be putting the pop of color I'm using NARS coconut grove to deepen that inner and outer corner so literally just using the MAC 211 brush just to deepen that a little bit so that creates more depth and I'm going to blend that out with a blending brush next I go back with the Too Faced shadow insurance primer and I place it in the middle and I'm using this color called Dubai and it's the foil finish and I just feel like this is so pretty for Christmas because it's a green tint but it's not too green and I'm using this Alate Cosmetics um, eyeshadow in the color Gifted um, it's gorgeous like they were one of the sponsors for my makeup seminar and this is my first time trying the shadow and I'm so in love with it it made the green pop even more so I'm using my eyeliner and I'm going to wing out my liner to the gods because you know you're trying to slay. Next, I'm using Lady Lashes in Belle and Madame, and I'm stacking it together. Again, they were one of my sponsors for my makeup seminar, and their lashes are so pretty. Um, these are their mink collection. So I'm just stacking that to give it that beautiful, fluffy look. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Take your time with this. Make sure you press it in. Don't rush it. And next, I'm using my YSL Touche Clat. Um, it's like a primer, but also a lotion because I really wanted that glowy look. And I place it all, all over my face, and I'm using the Benefit Primer to place on my T-zone where I usually get oily. And I'm going to color correct. Usually, I don't color correct, but my skin has been going through stuff. I don't know, like I'm breaking out a lot more than normal. So I'm just color correcting a little bit. You don't have to overdo it. And next, I'm using black opals foundation cream foundation and carob and basically this whole look is all about layering different textures because you want your face to last you throughout your Christmas celebration and I'm going in with the Becca ultimate coverage foundation I'm going to mix it with the NARS illuminator because I want that glowy look you know for Christmas and I'm just going to legit place it over top the cream shadow and what this does is just gives me more fuller coverage this is not for everyone if you don't prefer this method don't do it but I just wanted a very full coverage for the Christmas day you know 
and if you guys can see like the face to face um, side by side you'll see that the other side has more coverage I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side and use my beauty blender to blend everything out and again all about layering I'm going in with um, Truly Topaz by Black Opal as well I'm going to use this as a highlighter before I go in with my concealer and again what this does it's going to help everything last all day and I just blended that out and that's what I'm doing and then I go in with my highlighting concealer which is Fawn by LA Girl and I'm going to place that over top and that way the um, concealer is not going to move at all and I'm trying this new thing where I'm going to do my eyebrows last because I was I learned somewhere that if you do it that way then your brows are not too harsh and I'm loving that method right now Anyways, I'm going to go in and contour with cur um, black. Oops, sorry, I'm going to go in and contour with black walnut and blend that out. And I didn't bother showing this part because I feel like it's repeated like in every video. So I just kind of fast forwarded through it because um, you guys know the shabam. And then I use a clean beauty blender just to blend out everything so there's no harsh lines and everything just kind of looks very seamless. And I'm going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder and do the baking method so everything is locked in. I'm using my Ruby Kisses chestnut powder and I'm just setting my contour before I go in with the bronzer. And I go in my e.l.f. bronzer in Turks and Caicos and I contour with that. This is like my absolute favorite bronzer. Like I have tried every bronzer and this is like my fave. Anyways, I blend out everything that was baking with the chestnut powder as well. And because my face is about to look really powdery, I go with my setting spray by Maybelline and I set everything before I continue the rest of my face so that way I give it a head start and I go with my black liner just to complete my eye look and that's pretty much what I'm doing and I go in with black truffle from the same rose gold palette so I smoked out the outer one third of my eyes with that and I went in with cocoa and I smoked out the inner corners and then I took cocoa and I went over the black as well so that way it's soft and not too harsh and then I use henna just to smoke out everything and that's pretty much what I did and then I go with my Giorgio Armani mascara for my lower bottom lashes and then I do my eyebrows I literally show you guys the whole step of how I do my eyebrows because I feel like this method is so cool I felt like it left my brows looking a lot more natural than if I was to do it first and I got this trick from Sam Fine um, I, I adore him as a makeup artist like he is on point and at first I was like I don't know how I feel about doing my brows last but I am loving it guys like my eyebrows was looking so natural and I love that anyways I go in a little bit of a concealer as you guys could see and I just carve it out very lightly and the concealer is um, in the shade fawn so it, it acts as a highlight as well and then I go with a brow gel by NYX and I just set my brows like look at that look at how natural it looks I would love what this method guys you guys understand anyways I'm gonna do the other eyes off camera and I'm going in with a lay cosmetics a, a, a ethereal yeah that's what it's called and I'm going to put that in a corner and I'm using this NARS multiple stick in Palm Beach as a highlight and I feel like this just gives you that like glow from within without like the chunkiness of a highlight if you were to use a powder highlight so I'm really really loving that right now and I'm just using a synthetic brush um, to blend that on and this is a, a crown brush brush I don't know the number <laughs> right now um, anyways I just basically everywhere that you would usually highlight with a powder highlight and I did that and I was loving the glow but I just wanted a little bit more glow so I went in with the NARS orgasm blush and I set the uh, multiple stick with that and I felt like that gave it a little bit more glow and again it was like more so like a glow from within rather than like a chunky highlight and I used my makeup forever blush and I just blended that out on the apples of my cheeks and that's pretty much what I did. Use a clean brush and just blended out everything because I wanted to look highlighted but not like, you know, like I said, like chunky. I just wanted it to look like a nice glowy skin. And 
I take a little bit of my mineral powder and chestnut and I just blend it out everything as you can see and I am looking slayed and I'm using this Vashanti power lip gloss it's called Empress and I am in love I was initially gonna put this all over my lips but I felt like that turned the look into more of like a vampy look and I wanted like a vampy esque Christmas look if that makes sense so I use my NARS red lizard and I put that in the inner corner and I re outlined and that's pretty much the look I hope you guys enjoy this look. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Enjoy with your loved ones. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you. Bye guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really had a lot of fun filming it like I said. Please, if you guys like the video, do not forget to thumbs it up. Um, so please continue supporting me. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And um, yeah.